Hi everyone, I've had a few requests to show um, how I organise my rubber stamp collection so I'm going to do a quick video on that today. Um, most of my stamps are red rubber stamps and they're mounted on cling mounts and I store them in transparent boxes which you can see along here. So this is um, most of my unmounted stamp collection and I organise them by manufacturer so if you look on the boxes you can see over here I've got cherry pie stamps and moving along I've got some Lost Coast designs behind there I've got um, Katie's Corner and Invoke Arts then there's some Paperbag Studios behind there these ones at the front are Paper Artsy and I've got quite a lot of Paper Artsy so on the labels for these ones um, not only do I put the name of the company but I add a little bit more detail and it's quite easy to do for Paper Artsy because this particular company separates their plates by theme so I know in this box um, from the Ancestors theme I've got plates 1 and 2 from the Asian theme I've got plates 2 and 4 etc etc um, and I tend to do that as well where I've got companies that name their plates so if I just show you behind here um, this is Oxford Impressions who name their plates so I know that in this box I've got the Maiden Voyage plate and I also have the School Days and the By the Sea plate as well if they don't organise their um, stamps by plate or they're not named or maybe I've just got single stamps they're not from a plate um, I tend to label my boxes so from time to stamp I've got three boxes of time to stamp images um, so they're labelled box one, box two and box three um, and the reason I do that is because I also um, print out the images I'll, I'll show you how I organise my indexing system um, a little bit later um, in addition to having the, the labels with the company name on the front inside the boxes, if I just show you these are my Lost Coast um, images um, what I tend to do is to stamp out the image and laminate it and then because they're cling mounted it will obviously stick on and I know exactly which image it is and it makes it a lot easier particular, particularly if you've got like text images that can be quite difficult to read when you've just got the the back of the rubber um, so that's another system that works for me and I quite like that um, in addition to the cling mounted stamps I've also got clear stamps but not quite as many of those so they're organised um, just in one of these drawer systems and find the right drawer there we go so these are my um, clear stamps they're not organised by manufacturer because as I say I've not got quite as many of those um, red rubber is my preference to the polymer stamps because um, they last longer they don't get affected by sunlight in the same way and they're pretty much going to last you a lifetime if you look after them whereas these they've got a limited lifetime really um, and that's the other reason I sort of keep them in this drawer rather than on the shelf because when the sun comes through it sort of hits that shelf where the rest of my stamps are stored so they've got a little bit more protection there um, below that I have my alphabet stamps which again I just keep these together um, most of them are in little packages um, and there's some foam ones at the back there that you might have seen on a haul video not by manufacturer because I like to be able to just choose which font I want to use um, so it's just easy to keep those together then my um, wood mounted stamps are also in these sort of drawer units um, the ones I use most are below my desk here so I've got two units that are both three drawers each and these are my favourite companies as I say I've got other units like this um, in my craft room but um, I don't use those as often as these ones so Stampers Anonymous is without doubt my favourite stamp company and I do have quite a lot of their stamps I've got some of the older Tim Holtz ones here that I bought before um, they had the cling mounted sets so there's there's quite a few of those and then there's other images by Stampers Anonymous as well that I like so there's another one 
um, and then these ones are all sort of the little sentiments um, mostly Tim Holtz these ones so that's the Stampus Anonymous and then below that I have a separate drawer for the Tim Holtz Cling Mount stamps um, I've got about I think I've got 32 sets of these um, and I use them all the time so Stampus Anonymous is definitely my favourite company below that I've got some Stampington um, AC Juicy which don't exist anymore but Stampington bought some of their designs out so that's why I've grouped those together there's some Hampton Art stamps in here they don't get used quite as much and there's also some Invoke Arts um, and that's a, a limited edition stamp as well that company has gone out of business as well now um, but there's some really nice ones in here <clears throat> there's the these ones here were the images that were bought out um, they're old AC Juicy images but these are the Stampington ones <clears throat> and there's some from the uh, the sort of floral range that they have as well in there so some nice stamps in there and then over here that's sort of a, a miscellaneous drawn so is that sort of <coughs> um, companies where maybe I've only got one or two stamps from so I've got some Anna Griffin in there um, that's by Stamplands there's just sort of a little mixture of everything that's magenta and then above that is Hero Arts and Penny Black um, so it's not quite as organised this drawer so that's one that you might have seen on a haul video quite a recent one that's a uh, Hero Arts background I use all the time um, and then there's quite a few floral stamps in here by Penny Black and by Hero Arts and then the last thing to show you is my indexing system which I mentioned earlier so because I have quite a large number of stamps um, I find it easier rather than go through tons and tons of boxes and drawers looking for an image um, I find it easier to stamp all the images and put them into ring binders um, again grouped by company and then I can find what I want pretty easily um, so I've got my Oxford Impressions ones here um, more Oxford Impressions and then these are time to stamp and what I've done with these um, although they do name the plates um, I've put these in sort of separate boxes because I've got some plates and then some that are sort of um, loose stamps that weren't from a particular plate so um, I know that all these images for example are all in box one as are the next lot and then I get on to images that are in box two so I know exactly where to find them and that system works really well for me it really keeps me organized um, it can be a little bit of a pain initially when you're stamping out all the images if you've got a lot but once they're there it's so easy just to flick through so I hope that's been useful to somebody and I hope it's answered the questions about um, which system I use for organizing my stamps okay thanks for watching bye